Hello and welcome to this strange video. Um, I was looking through some stuff and I happened upon a 10 page printout of the Twisted Metal Wikipedia article from 2011. And I just thought to myself, I can't let this go to waste. Young me has to have known this was going to happen somehow, where I would look at it, I would see it, and now we're going to discuss the history of Twisted Metal as portrayed by Wikipedia in 2011, Full, uh, fully open, everything is seen here, I am not endorsed by Wikipedia, I don't even know if Wikipedia endorses things, but... It's a free encyclopedia, so hopefully I don't get sued for this. And uh, I'm just gonna start reading the basic box for Twisted Metal as a series. Uh, has the logo. The genre is vehicular combat. The developers from 1995 to 1997 was single track. Uh... 1998 to 2000, 989 Studios, which did 3 and 4. Uh, Incognito Entertainment from 2001 to 2007, which was Twisted Metal Black, maybe Head On as well. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know where Small Brawl falls in here. I'm sure we'll get to that eventually. And then Eat Sleep Play is labeled as 2008 to 2010. This, I believe, was before the, the hmm, tongue tied, uh, the 2012 release of Twisted Metal for the PS3. And I will put in my own note here that since then, we haven't exactly seen a whole lot of the series. Though there have been rumblings that things have been happening. I would have to check my sources to know this stuff for sure, but right now my source is from 2011. So, st to start off with, Twisted Metal from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Twisted Metal is a series of vehicular combat video games published by Sony Computer Entertainment and developed by various companies during its tenor. The series began on PlayStation on the PlayStation in 1995 and currently features seven games as of 2011, with an eighth installment currently in production. Uh, it is the 162nd best-selling video game franchise, selling over 15 million copies in North America alone. I could not tell you what it ranks today. It is probably lower because we haven't had new releases. It is the longest-running PlayStation-exclusive franchise with a total of 15 years running from 1995 to present, with the closest being the Gran Turismo series, which has spanned 13 years, again, in 2011. Uh, seven games of the series, including Twisted Metal Black Online, were released as part of the Sony's Greatest Hits program. And you got your table of contents ranging from number one, overview, number two, endings, number three, games, uh, 3.1 main games, 3.2 spin-offs, 3.3 future games, and you can probably guess which one specifically that was, and 3.4 canceled games, which is an interesting topic to get into. Uh, four reoccurring characters. Ergo, Calypso, and Sweet Tooth, which I have another article printed out specifically for Calypso that we may look at later. Uh, five, music. Six, see also. Seven, references. Eight, external links. So that... Six to eight, probably not important. Okay, so to start with the overview... In concept, Twisted Metal is a demolition derby that permits the usage of ballistic projectiles, machine guns, mines, and other types of weapons, up to and including satellite-based weapons and nuclear weapons. Players choose a vehicle and an arena, 
or a series of arenas in the story mode, to engage in battle with opposing drivers, a variety of weapons and upgrades are obtainable by picking up scattered by pickups scattered throughout the stage. The last driver alive is the winner. I may not be the one to go through this, but I'm going to try because I feel like my knowledge plus Wikipedia, I think I can figure things out pretty well from there. Although each individual game features its own storyline, they also revolve around the same basic theme. A vehicular combat tournament called Twisted Metal is presented with the promise of granting the contestants winner any single wish they so desire. In almost all of the games, the host is a man called Calypso. However, however, in the series' fourth installment, perennial contestant Sweet Tooth briefly takes over. Uh, yeah, yeah, that did happen. Yeah. So... Twisted Metal 4... Honestly, is my most nostalgic game. If you looked at my channel for a... Uh, for a period of time, you'd probably see one of my videos. But, uh, unimportant! To continue, the hosts of these games are the persons who are, through arcane means, capable of warping reality itself to grant the wishes of the contestant winners. However, there is a general be careful what you wish for, in quotations, theme in the game series. As nearly all of the winners, winning contestants end up with not so happy, in quotations, endings. Due to the skill and... Hang on, this word. Oh my goodness. Proclivity? I'm gonna need to look this up later. Proclivity of the hosts for twisting... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, of the hosts for twisting the words of their wishes around, often to deadly effects. The games in the series usually contain a healthy dose of black humor... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh... Endings. By winning the game, players are treated to an ending pertaining to whichever character they choose to play as... to play as throughout the main game. Each ending shows the character wishing for their heart's desire and getting what they wished for, though Calypso uh, will often change the wish due to their... due to taking a more literal tone, or for deriving amusement by jumbling the winner's words. Okay. Okay, continuing. Uh, main games, Twisted Metal 1995 and Twisted Metal 2 1996. It's pretty impressive that they made a follow-up a year later. Main articles, Twisted Metal video game and Twisted Metal 2. Format, PlayStation, and PC. Uh, the first two Twisted Metal games were developed by Single Track. Yes, that tracks. An I IBM PC version of Twisted Metal 2 exists. It features slightly cut-down graphics compared to the PlayStation version. Minor details of some levels disappear. But it doesn't require a 3D accelerator video card and played well on computer with lower processing capabilities. It also featured multiplayer over a modem line at, or internet. That, that's actually pretty impressive. I'm going to take a minute. It doesn't do as deep a dive into PlayStation, er, into, sorry, Twisted Metal 1 and 2 as I would like. I don't know if I can offer as much information. Uh, again, yeah, no, it was made by Single Track, and... Yeah, there's not much more I can offer. I uh, really didn't care too much for the first one. It was definitely a rough game. As Looking at it from my perspective, as I started playing it, Oh, jeez. Like, the first time I played it was in 2022. So, from my perspective, it was rough. But it, back in 1995, 
it was probably solid and enticing and all that good stuff. And two, being followed up a year later, two was actually the first game of the series that I personally bought. And yeah, it was, I was, okay, I'll, I'll give a little bit of excess to this. When I first played Twisted Metal 2, I ran over a pedestrian and shut the game off and felt like a terrible person because I did that and didn't touch the game again for a few years till my interest peaked and I took another look at it and discovered this series is amazing. And it probably took some time for me to be able to look at it that way. So that was the single track run 